Greetings, Internet Peeploids. Darkly Dave here. I was going to make a video originally specifically dealing with bisexual youth to finalise the celebration of Bisexual Health Awareness Month, but in the intervening days, something affecting LGBT kids in Australia throughout the nation and throughout the spectrum happened. Uh, Funding was cut from the Safe Schools program in a bid by the conservative right in the government to remove the program completely, viewing it despite the fact that they hadn't read the entire program. Many didn't know its contents and claims were made that were either completely fatuous or highly exaggerated in regards to the program and what it was teaching. The program was originally made to teach students about LGBT issues in an age-appropriate manner and especially in regards to bullying within the school system. The program was originally started in part due to a study in 2010, which was four years before the rollout of the Safe Schools program, by La Trobe University. It found that same-sex attracted youths in Australia, in the school system, have 75% were verbally or physically abused, and 80% of those abuse attacks were made at school. It also found, among many other findings, that same-sex attracted and genderqueer students are six times more likely to contemplate and to actively seek out self-harm and suicide. This program was initiated to help deal with this problem and to help students come to terms with those within the system that need the education. The particular four MPs that we have to thank for the removal of the funding for this program are George Christiansen, Tony Abbott, Barnaby Joyce and Kevin Andrews, who are all extremely conservative senators and MPs, who admit to have not read the entire program. So it's their opinions are largely based on the fact they do not support LGBT rights of any kind. They're active in they're active and vociferous in their opposition to same sex marriage and equal rights of multiple kinds. They propagate a religious view, despite the fact that Australia is supposed to be a nation where the church and the state are completely separate. Liberal National MP Warren Ensch said, The lack of understanding is more towards those who advocate. I think the children are a lot more tolerant. And that there needs to be a voice of reason. He also said, You only have to look at the statistics in relation to attempted suicide. Queensland Federal MP and Labour's Child Safety Spokesperson, Terry Butler, said the report by Professor Bill Loudon found that the Safe Schools resources are consistent with the aims of the program and the Australian curriculum, suitable, educationally sound and age appropriate. Claims were made against the program due to links to the Minus 18 website and a number of other resources, which were only available to students who requested information. Though that would be those students who needed these resources. Young LGBT kids trying to find out who they are and what their identity means. The Conservative MP's views do not reflect the 70% of Australians who support many LGBT courses, especially same-sex marriage and almost certainly the anti-bullying program itself if not in its deployment, at least 
in what it's attempting to do. The fact that it receives a minute fraction of the funding given to the chaplaincy program and the fact that these MPs have then gone on to say that the chaplaincy program is there to help students despite the fact it propagates a extremely conservative and very Christian view of the world and largely will not support LGBT kids. The view propagated by the government in these actions is that it does not support the LGBT community especially not the young people fighting against suicide, depression and many other mental and physical health problems. It shows that they do not care that we are six times more likely to contemplate suicide and attempt it. And it shows that they don't care that they will end up with the blood of children on their hands again and again and again. Personally, growing up in rural Australia, I could have done with the Safe Schools program. This is scant 10 years ago or more. I finished high school in 2007. I could have used resources teaching me about my sexuality and I definitely could have used resources teaching other kids about the harm they do when they bully. I had a hard enough time at school just being different from everyone else. I didn't dare come out. Despite the fact that my family is deeply understanding and not in the slightest bit conservative, it still took me 16 years after my first idea of what I was before I could come out. And that is more than partly due to the culture propagated in the education system where for our sexual education, we didn't receive anything about same sex. Anything. Not a single mention was made. We were taught about safe sex in regards to heterosexual relationships. We were taught how to be safe about drugs and STDs, so many other things. But we were not taught a single thing in any class, in any capacity, and that is truly shameful. Many of my peers were also in the closet at school, be they gay, lesbian, bi, transgender, it doesn't matter. There were quite a few of us in that year, and none of us, bar one or two exceptions, dared to come out until well after we'd left school. And so I say, shame on the government for passing this legislation and axing funding and trying to close this program. There are so many other courses that could have been taken in regards to fixing the perceived problems with this court. The fact that groups like the Australian Christian Lobby wish to remove rules regarding proper behaviour that should be made in society in regards to offensive language and derogatory name-calling beggars belief. They say that because they are gagged by these rules they will not be able to make their statements and views properly known in the event of a plebiscite. And I say that if they cannot make their views properly understood without resorting to offensive behaviour and language, they've already lost.
to propagate views that we are unnatural or sinful or any of the other myriad terms that have been thrown against us since we were children is not only deeply offensive but morally corrupt and so I say shame on you and I hope you weigh your conscience very carefully.